Um, my name is Martin Boyd. I'm VP Product Marketing here at uh, Prophecy. And uh, in a moment, we're going to show you some uh, software uh, that, and show you how Prophecy uh, fits into the uh, intelligent data platform and in particular, how we've integrated with Purview. And to, to help kick us off with that, wanted to introduce uh, Srikanth, who is uh, on the, the line here uh, from Microsoft, uh, Principal Product Marketing Manager in the Purview dev team. And can you just uh, put this a little bit in context for us briefly, Srikanth? Sure. Uh, thanks, Martin, and welcome everyone uh, to this uh, interesting session on Purview and Prophecy here at Ignite. Um, I'm part of the product team here at Purview, and we've been working very, very closely with Purview for uh, almost two years now, uh, even before we uh, were a generally available product. Um, and we've been focused on adding um, uh, the open and extensible portions of our platform that will enable other complementary technologies such as MDMs to leverage our, the Purview data map and platforms. And part of this is going to be very integral because our premise with the Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform is that we have this ambient governance layer that can not only work on applications that we build uh, on top of the Purview data map, uh, which is like our cataloging and other applications, but also our partner applications such as uh, Prophecy and give a very uh, integrated and seamless experience for how you want to be able to measure um, how, as your data is being pipelined across your data estates, uh, what are the elements of quality? How do you master this? How do you relate that back to the raw sources to give you that full end-to-end -end picture and to give you that uh, ambient governance feel with a seamless uh, set of or suite of apps that sit on top of the same platform? Um, and we've been working very closely with uh, the Prophecy team here, and Eric and Martin will um, show you some of the wonderful stuff that we've done together. Uh, to see, um, to show you how the value prop um, for, for our customers is, and then um, how with the seamless integration, you'll be able to get a lot more insight across your entire data state, not only in terms of your raw data assets, but also your uh, final or finished data assets as it pertains to various domains within MDM. So I'll pause here and hand it off to uh, Eric and Mike. Martin. All right, thanks, Frank. Uh, uh, Srikanth, appreciate that. And as Srikant said, we've been working for a couple of years directly with the, uh, the, the Purview team, and uh, we have a very mature and uh, a robust uh, integration with uh, between Prophecy and Purview. And we're going to explain in a moment, right, right here, what uh, why that is and uh, what it does for you. So, real quick, just to, to get us started, I'm going to um, show a couple of slides just to uh, explain the context here, and then we'll get to uh, to, to live software, which is the whole point of, uh, of the demo here. So. Most companies, when they're trying to, they're thinking about the intelligent data platform uh, and the Microsoft intelligent data platform that was announced here uh, at um, uh, the Ignite conference. Um, and by the way, I should have mentioned earlier, we were part, we are one of the uh, founding partners of that uh, partner ecosystem. Um, anybody who's thinking about the intelligent data platform and thinking about how to leverage their data is thinking about um, you know driving uh, digital transformation, business insights, operational efficiencies, etc. And for that, they need high quality trusted data that is complete and consistent and accurate and ready to use. And that seems like a pretty straightforward statement, but what most organizations uh, have, uh, at least at the outset of their journey and most of the way to going through it, is they have data that comes from many different sources. They're built uh, in different, the data is built in different silos. Uh, they could be ERPs, CRMs, there could be multiple different versions of them or the external data feeds. Um, and so the data is, has not been built with the uh, benefit of a unified data governance platform. And so it is duplicated and ungoverned, inconsistent and incomplete and really not what you need. So there's, uh, if you think about it, the, the data itself is a bit of a brick wall. It's preventing you from getting to the business objectives that you need. So uh, the whole point here is what do we do to break through that wall? Um, we are uh, um, gonna show you how a combination of Microsoft Purview and Prophecy MDM together can do that. Um, and in this case, Purview will be there to scan and classify the data sources and then define the data standards. Uh, but Purview by itself isn't going to enforce the data standards. It's just going to define them. Prophecy MDM is there to enforce the data standards, to actually make sure that all the data can be matched and merged across all the different sources, and particularly the master data from those. Um, and then uh, having been matched and merged, we validate that the data uh, conforms to the standard set by the governance platform being Purview and then remediate where we need to. So 
Um, the whole point here is that uh, we can have a big impact on uh, what you're able to see and how, in particular, how useful it is. So with that, let's jump into the uh, software. By the way, there's um, quite a few people on the call here. Uh, please feel free to, uh, to uh, I chime in and chat and we'll try and handle any questions as we go through. And if we run out of time, we will reach out to you afterwards. Okay. All right, thanks. So in this demo, what we're gonna show is how Prophecy's integration with the Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform helps end users find and identify the data they need, ultimately improve the value of that data, creating certified information, and then consuming that data back within Power BI. In this scenario, I'm a data steward for a company called City Limits Bikes, and we've just acquired a new organization, and my management team has now asked for a better understanding of who our new joint customer base is and who our best customers are within that customer base. And so here I am in Power BI. I've imported some data from our different operational applications, some sales data, and I immediately run into a problem. And this is a pretty common problem, which is I have a duplicate customer records from within and across these different operational applications. You can, and you can see that here, we have Alyssa Cox shows up a couple of times, and we have Full Sports Supply, which is one of our larger customers, who shows up four times within this list. So fortunately for me, I know that our organization has adopted Microsoft Purview for data governance and Prophecy for master data management. Between these two applications, I'll be able to hopefully find and identify a better certified data set, a set of customer data for building out this analysis. Um, and ultimately import that data from Prophecy into my Power BI model. So let's see how that works. To start with, here I am in Microsoft Purview, and Purview really provides visibility across my entire data state. And since Prophecy has a native integration with Microsoft Purview, I know that I'll be able to find the certified customer data that I need for my analysis here within Purview. To find that information, I do a search here for customer, and I get a number of different assets back. And the one I'm interested in is, is the one here that's marked as certified customer, right? Okay, this is customer data coming from Prophecy. And I go ahead and open up this asset. And I can see not only the, the technical metadata that's been published from Prophecy into Purview, but also some governance information that's been captured by my governance program. I can see an asset description. I can see some schema classifications. I can see all the technical metadata that's been published here by Prophecy. I can see the underlying schema here, all the different data elements are available. This is definitely all the information that I need. I can also see some contact information. Who should I contact? Uh, you know, who are experts on this data set? Um, who, who ultimately owns or is responsible for it? And last but not least, I can see the lineage of this data set. What I find here is something interesting. That is that this raw source customer data is actually being matched and generating a golden record using Prophecy's matching engine. The clustering process creates and identifies groups of like records, and then a promotion process ultimately creates and populates my golden record data set with the best information available. So I can see this process documented from Prophecy here within Purview. And in fact, this golden record data set sounds more like what I'm after. So I'll switch to that asset, which has also been published into Purview by Prophecy. And looking at the overview here, I see that this is indeed the customer golden records post m &A. So this will include all my customers from my existing organization, as well as the new entity that we just acquired. Going over here to the properties, I actually see I have a, a link here that will actually take me from Purview into this data set within Prophecy where I can inspect it and make sure this is in fact what I need to use. So now here I am in Prophecy and here I'm looking at my, my golden record or my customer masters. Uh, one thing that's nice here is that I also have uh, access to that same governance information from Purview natively within Prophecy. I click on this Purview icon and I see that same description. I see the same glossary terms. I can see the same experts and owners all available to me natively within Prophecy. And if I needed to navigate back to this asset in Purview, I'm able to do that here directly from within Prophecy. Now, let's look at one of those customer examples where we saw some obvious duplicate data in our data set. And if we search for full sports supply, here we find the golden record for full sports supply. And as we open up this match group, we see a couple things. One, we can see that we do in fact have four source records that were all matched together, creating our golden records. That's a good sign. And we see that one of these is actually marked as a proposed match. And to understand why that happened, we can click on Prophecy's visualizer, which actually visualizes the formation of this group and helps you understand who matched to whom and why. 
So in this scenario, we see that our Salesforce source record really represented the central actor that everybody else seemed to match to. I can see the data that came from my other different source applications, such as our legacy city limits system, as well as our new Dynamics application. And if I click into the details of the score, I can see that the reason that this matched with a score of 0.94 was because the names were slightly different between these two records. And I can drill into the details here and see the underlying math that the proxies matching algorithm use to determine the similarity between these two values. Now I'm confident that this is in fact a good match. So now I'm able to flip over to survivorship and mark this match as approved. So in addition to the matching process, Prophecy has also automatically populated the golden record with the best available information from my different source applications. So here we can see that the name of my golden record came from my Salesforce system, but my phone number actually came from Dynamic CRM. So this allows golden records to be automatically populated without any work on behalf of the end users, but also allows end users to come in here and override those automated rules in the event that there's a better value available from one of my other applications. So that's a look at customer data within Prophecy, but I also knew that I'll be doing some work with product data, and I'd like to go check out what's available from Prophecy in regards to product. I switched to my product fast app. Let me go ahead and take a few minutes to look at a couple popular product categories. So drilling into retail and touring bikes, I can see all the various touring bikes that we have available out there in the market. And the first thing I notice here is that I have three records that are marked with the data quality issue. And this is a data quality rule that's been defined in Prophecy. In this case, this is catching an error where the ratio between our standard cost and our MSRP um, don't meet our requirements. And as I look at other like records nearby, it's pretty obvious that for whatever reason, these three records were keyed in um, with, a, with a typo around the actual dollar amount. Fortunately, Prophecy makes it really easy for me to correct this error by doing a quick update, selecting the MSRP, and assigning the new corrected value. Now, since Prophecy's data quality engine is always running automatically in the background, these were automatically reevaluated in real time and that data quality issue has gone away. Now, jumping over here to my mountain bikes product category, I see I have a different kind of data quality issue. In this scenario, we're using Prophecy's machine learning based anomaly detection engine to spot an anomaly in our data. In this case, we have an MSRP whose value is out of line with other like records within our data set. And as we look here, we can see that this MSRP is clearly an outlier um, and, the, and the error is obvious here in that someone's accidentally keyed in an extra five in the MSRP. We can easily correct this issue by modifying that value. And upon saving that record, our machine learning engine has automatically rescored that record against our ML model and our anomaly has gone away. Prophecy also has the ability to visually display the relationships in your data. Opening up Prophecy's relationship management experience, we see a graph-based visualization of this individual product. We can see the prices that it's been extended to, the country that it's manufactured in, and who the manufacturer is, et cetera. In this scenario, I noticed something that doesn't look right. I know that Felt Bikes is a US-based bicycle company, um, but the country of manufacture is marked as Germany. Using this experience, we can navigate to different records within our data set to understand it. In this scenario, I know that Germany is incorrect and this bicycle is really manufactured in the United States. Prossy makes this really easy to correct within this relationship management experience. I have to clear out the incorrect Germany value and select United States as a country of manufacture. All right, so I've cleaned up some product data as well, but back to my original challenge, which is my customer analysis. Hopping back into Power BI, I've now used Purview to find the certified data set that I need and verify that that is indeed the information that I'm looking for to complete my analysis. Getting that information from Prophecy into Power BI is really easy because Prophecy has a certified connector from Power BI. To access this connector, you simply go to the Get Data menu, and like you would for any other native Power BI data source, you find and select the Prophecy connector and connect. The only information required is the URL of your Prophecy environment. 
at which point you'll be automatically authenticated and have access to the data that you have rights to within Prophecy. Once I've imported that data into my Power BI model and connected it up with the other sales data that was already there, I can now go get a much more complete picture of who my customers are. Using our golden records, we're now able to consolidate together our four different representations of full sports supply using our golden record. And now we have a complete picture of our relationship with full sports supply. Okay, so we've shown in this demo a lot of the details around how Prophecy can be used to produce certified data. But for most of your end users, this entire process will be invisible. For your users, what Prophecy can provide is certified data that any user can simply access and use in tools such as Power BI, making it easier for them to use that data to drive better business decision making. Okay, excellent. Eric, thank you so much for that, uh, for that demo. Um, hopefully that gave everyone a little bit of a feel for uh, how Prophecy and Purview work together as part of the uh, uh, intelligent data platform. Uh, we started in Power BI, showed you um, what you know, poor quality data might look like and the results it might uh, um, deliver. Then we showed how you can go and uh, you go into Purview, find certified data uh, that can be more useful. And uh, we explored a little bit of the, uh, um, the process of, of delivering that certified data so that it can uh, um, deliver better business insights and, and results. So um, I think we're, uh, um, we're about out of time, but if anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to drop them in the chat. We'll answer them as long as we don't get kicked off. Um, as we've been up here at the conference in Seattle, some of the questions that have, have come up very frequently when we've been speaking to people are um, what's the integration roadmap? Eric, do you want to speak just a little bit uh, to where we're going with the integration from here on out, with both with Purview and across the whole of the uh, Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform? Yeah, so so we think about this holistically as how do we integrate across the entire Microsoft Intelligent Data Platform? Um, so obviously with Purview, a lot of things we're looking at down the road are enhanced capabilities around lineage, enhanced capabilities around um, allowing users to um, find the data they need within Prophecy, request access for that data through Purview, go from Purview into Prophecy, um, and for Prophecy to continue uh, as new features light up within Purview, um, such as security access, you know, data access policies, data quality policies, et cetera, for Prophecy to inherently react to those and actually apply those back within our platform. Um, we also have our Power BI certified connector. Um, we're, we're currently engaged with other product teams like Azure Data Factory and Synapse um, to continue making it uh, easier to uh, move data in and out of Prophecy through other native Azure tools, as well as easier for organizations to consume data from Prophecy into, into downstream uh, solutions such as Synapse. So um, we're really trying to kind of uh, create a complete data journey for end users um, who are needing to find access, you know, manage, improve, and ultimately use data. Excellent. Question from the chat, um, is the Prophecy licensing available through Azure Marketplace for PaaS uh, or is it separate? Yes, you can buy, uh, both uh, platform as a service and software as a service uh, through uh, Azure Marketplace, and you can use your um, uh, um, Mac credits. Mac credits, sorry, I blanked in that yeah. for a second there. <laughs> um, one more question, Eric, for those who are not uh, as familiar with master data management, can you talk just a little about what master data is and what common domains might be, what a typical implementation might look like from that regard? Yeah, so you know, master data. Every vertical you can think of has master data, but but every company typically, obviously, has customers and products. Um, then after that, you get into domains that that can be more specific. So um, you know, if you're a healthcare company, you might have uh, patients and providers. If you're you know, if you're a fast food restaurant, you might have locations. Um, but customer and product are typically the two sort of beachhead domains that most organizations get started with. And then depending on the vertical, they might have um, an additional set of of supporting domains that surround that. And the bulk of our customers ultimately implement um, numerous domains, including reference data um, uh, in, in conjunction with some of those other primary domains. Uh, so the use cases vary by industry, um, but hopefully that gives you an idea of, of what is master data. And, and obviously that's, those are the domains that customers typically use in Prophecy to, to put under management. Excellent. And since the, the question came up earlier about uh, um, uh, buying and uh, deploying, can you talk a little bit about uh, our software as a service offering that's uh, just been new this calendar year? Yeah, so uh, we were very excited to, to launch that in February of this year. So um, we've been running natively in the cloud now for a couple of years in a containerized architecture. And as of February, we made that same containerized architecture, which historically our customers have taken and run themselves in their um, you know, Azure tenant. 
Um, with SaaS, it's, it's us running those same containers on behalf of our customers. So it's the exact same product. There's no real uh, functional differences. That's it's the same you know software that we're shipping. And um, the difference is now it's running in the proxy cloud. Um, in our Azure tenant, we have uh, regions available in North America, the EU, UK, as well as Australia, and we're rolling it out uh, in other regions of the world over the course of time. Um, and what it allows customers to do is, is to get started more easily, right? Um, you know, increasingly organizations are getting out of the IT and application management business, and they want to use applications and services. And, um, and so we're excited about the opportunity for customers to take advantage of that. Um, we're actually seeing a, quite a bit of demand within our existing customer base to make the transition to SaaS. And since it's the exact same product, um, that's actually a, an easy transition for them to make. There's no real um, catch-22s for those customers. So for our final question, and if anyone has any uh, other questions, just please drop them in the chat. But final question for Eric. Um, uh, we focus here on the purview integration, which is probably our most significant one, but can you talk a little bit about the Azure Data Factory integration and how that all kind of brings things together within the Intelligent Data Platform? Yeah, um, so integration is a part of every MDM project and uh, Azure Data Factory is, is the core ETL and data integration product within Azure. Um, and so one thing we've done with that is, is as an MDM vendor, we're not um, looking to necessarily uh, deliver a, an integration tool. We want customers to ultimately use the integration tool that they already have. Last thing customers need is yet another way to do integration. Um, so working with the ADF team, uh, we've created some Azure Data Factory pipeline templates. Um, those templates have now been published into the global template gallery with an ADF. So, um, so that's the, uh, uh, you know, a relatively new uh, uh, evolution in our work with the Azure Data Factory team. And we have more work coming. We we'll ultimately want to make it um, you know, a very seamless point and click uh, native experience in ADF. That just takes the, the effort around integration completely off the table, makes it easy, data just flows naturally in and out of prophecy and, and throughout your broader data state. Perfect. So I'm not seeing any more questions. So um, let me just uh, point out, I dropped uh, in the chat uh, a link to our uh, a webpage uh, that we just put up as part of the Intelligent Data Platform launch that was done this week. Uh, it's prophecy.com slash MIDP. So you can go there and find a lot more information, uh, reference architectures, uh, some videos, some uh, white papers, customer and partner testimonials, that kind of thing. So please feel free to go there and uh, learn a little bit more about all of this um, uh, this endeavor uh, and how how some people are using it. With that, um, thank you very much. To so, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention: uh, if you want to see a little bit more demo, we do have a weekly uh, public demo that we run uh, on Prophecy. So if you can go to our homepage, you can uh, register for those. Uh, we cycle between just a, a prophecy demo and a prophecy and purview demo uh, for anyone who wants to get a little bit more about uh, any of that. Um, and I think I'm seeing another message here. Yeah. Um, so uh, with that, anything? Oh, and thank you very much to uh, Srikan for introducing us. Uh, uh, it's been tremendous working with uh, him and uh, the rest of the team around the uh, integration with purview. Thanks, Srikan. Any final words, Eric, or yeah. we good? I think that's it. I appreciate everybody joining. And, uh, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to visit our website and uh, we'd be happy to, to set up some time to chat. Absolutely. Thanks everyone for your time. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now.